Hey guys, Kieran here again, and today's lesson is going to be the song Elevated by the band State Chumps. Uh, so it's going to be an acoustic tutorial, it's going to be an acoustic arrangement of the song. Um, so to play this song, you need a capo, and you put your capo on the second fret. I know mine is on the fourth fret, but my guitar is doing a whole step down, so I need mine on the fourth to make it sound like the capo is on the second fret. But you guys, put yours on the second fret, and it will sound just like this. Um, so, this song uses in total one, two, three, four chords. Um, so, all the chords you'll be putting your pinky and your third finger on the third fret of the first and second string. So, the first chord will be this C. Uh, technically, it's a C add nine, but I'm just going to call it a C. So, like I say, third finger and pinky go down on the third fret, first and second, and then second finger on the third fret on the fifth string, and then first finger on the second fret of the fourth string, and then mute this, this low E. Second chord is just a normal G chord, so when you're on the C, just bump your second and first finger up a string. The third chord is this E minor. So first finger on the second fret of the fifth string, second finger on the second fret of the fourth string. And then fourth chord is this D chord. So first finger goes on the second fret of the third string. And what you want to do is try and mute these lowest two strings. Um, but if you can't get your thumb over to mute the two strings, you can just mute the lowest one string and uh, have this fifth string ringing open and it'll sound pretty much identical. So there, C, G, E minor and a D as well. So again, it's the bulk of the song now. The strum patterns of this song, there'll be five strum patterns altogether. Um, but now I'll just touch on strum pattern one because it covers the majority of the song. So the strum pattern will sound like this: down, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. So that strum pattern there I've used in a few other uh, tutorials that I've done. So you might recognise that uh, strum pattern. Um, but all the strum patterns and all the chords as well but will be in the description just in case you miss anything with this tutorial. So that's strum pattern one. Um, so that will be used for the intro, verse, pre-chorus and also the chorus as well. And the uh, little interlude sections. So the intro starts off with a G chord. And when you're on this G chord you play that strum pattern twice. And then you move to a C chord and again play the strum pattern twice. Then you go back to a G chord and play that strum pattern twice. And those three chords together is the whole of the intro. Um, in the actual song there is a little solo section, um, which I'm not going to cover in this, tut this tutorial because I just want it to be uh, a beginner tutorial. Uh, just if you want to play along with the song and sing at the same time, something like that. So that's the intro and then after that intro you go straight into the verse so the verse consists of a C which you play for two times the drum pattern a G which is for two times the drum pattern a C which is for another two times the drum pattern and another G which is for two times the drum pattern and then you get to the pre-chorus which moves to this E minor shape which is for half the strum pattern and then the second half of the strum pattern you go to this C shape and when I say half the strum pattern in the description in the strum pattern I'll put a slash and that's where you need to change the next chord so like I say with the pre-chorus it's half on the E minor half on the C and then it's a full strum pattern on this G and just before you change the next chord you can just go to this little F F uh, sharp if you want to, you don't have to do that, but it just does a little run down to the next next D minor, which is the next chord. So when you're in the strum pattern, just before you change to the E minor, just 
change your finger into your first finger goes to the second fret of the sixth string and you can just try and mute that uh, fifth string as well so it would sound like this and then you get to that next D minor so like I say you get to this next D minor for half the drum pattern again back to the C for half the drum pattern and then this time instead of going to the G you go to a D for a full one drum pattern altogether and as a little addition, just before we get into the chorus, uh, you can just change to a, a normal D shape, which is moving your pinky finger down a string, down a fret, sorry, and you can pop your second finger onto the second fret of the first string. So, to piece all that together now, I'll play the intro. Uh, going into the verse and into the pre-chorus as well and I'll stop just before the chorus changes up ever so slightly here. Uh, so you go from an E to a D, but instead of being on strum button 1, you move to strum button 2. And when you're on this E minor, you play up, up, down. And then when you get to the D, you play up, up, down, up. So them two chords all together will make up strum button 2. And where you want to change chord, again, I'll put a slash. Um, to where you need to do that. So it's strum pattern 1 for the C for half strum pattern, G for half strum pattern, D for half strum pattern, and then you move to strum pattern 2 for the E minor to D. And that whole chord progression plays four times for the chorus. Um, but I'll just play it now uh, just so you can piece all that together and then I'll just recap over it um, just quickly. So tell me why can't you say this is where you recapping it's half strum pattern one on the C, half strum pattern one on the G, half the strum pattern one on D, and then you move to strum pattern two for the E minor and the D, and that whole chord progression goes around four times. And then you go into a little interlude section on this G chord, which is a strip, again back to strum pattern one, which you play two times uh, of the strum pattern. And then after interlude one, you go back to the verse, do another pre-chorus, uh, do a chorus again, um, which are all the same as the previous verse, pre-chorus and chorus. And then you go into a little interlude section just before the bridge. So after the second chorus, you go into interlude two, um, which changes the strum pattern to strum pattern three. Um, and the chord for this, you go to an E minor, and you play this drum pattern one time on that E minor. Um, so this drum pattern will go as follows. It'll be... It's down, down, up, down. 
down up down down up down up down up down up down down up down up down down up down up down up down up down down up down up down down up down up down up down up and that's one time round on that E minor for the interlude two. And then for the bridge itself, you go into a C to a D, which is split between strong button four. Uh, and then you go back to the E minor, which you go back to the string button 2, which you play for one time. So the bridge, just recapping, it goes a split string button 4 between C and D, and then you play one string button, string button 2, that is, on E minor. So you're changing between string button 4 and string button 2. And then that pattern, that chord progression goes around three times and then the fourth time you have a split strum button between C and D and strum button four again but instead of going back to E minor just like the, the previous three times you go to strum button five which is just 16 down and ups and you do 16 times on C 16 times on D 16 times on E minor, 16 times on G, 16 times on C, and then on this last D, you hit it once, uh, and then let it ring before going into the broken down chorus. But what I'll do, I'll play the bridge through, and then I'll just recap uh, going through the strewing patterns uh, once again. So just recap on that bridge, um, it starts off with the little interlude 2 section which is one time through uh, string pattern 2 on the C minor. Then you go to string pattern 4 and it's a split string pattern 4 between C and D. Then you go back to string pattern 2 and one time through that string pattern on E minor. And that progression goes around three times. And then the fourth time round, you go back, you just like the previous three times, you play a split strum band four between C and D. But instead of going back to the E minor, you go to strum band five this time, which is just 16 down and ups. And it's 16 down and ups on C, 16 on D, 16 on E minor, 16 on G, 16 on C, and 16 on D, ready to go into the broken down chorus. So if you've missed any of that, all those chords and all those drum patterns will be next to the chords um, in the description. Uh, I'm, I'm aware that there's a lot of strum patterns going on there, there's a lot of um, changing the chords. So just uh, check out the description if, you, if you've missed that. So after that bridge, you go into the broken down chorus, which is just the first half of the chorus. Um, where you and you're just hitting each chord and letting it ring. So I'll just play the broken down chorus and I'll go into that last chorus and then I'll just just break them down quickly. So tell me why can't you say?
after that last chorus, you can just just end on that that C chord there. So that broken down chorus is just the first half of a normal chorus, which is just two times around the chorus progression, and you're just hitting each chord, letting it ring. D, you can just open it back out again um, and then do a normal length chorus after that and then like I say you can just do one shrimp bound length on that last C and then let it ring at the end or just hit it and stop it whatever you prefer to do so like I say all the shrimp bands will be in the description all the chords um, everything will be down there so if you've missed anything, go check that out. So in the future, I'll be doing some more state champ stuff. I'll be doing some more Pierce the Veil, Sleep with Sirens, A Day to Remember. Um, so hit the subscribe button to keep up to date for future videos. And until next time, peace out.